Hey guys, Luca here and welcome back to Gaslands TV. It's good to be back. Finally gonna do some more modeling for 2023. But before I get into modeling, I bought a few things and I wanted to show you uh, all this cool stuff that I bought. And hopefully it's gonna inspire you. There's actually uh, one item in here I don't think you should buy. So I'm gonna show you that. And at the end of the video, I'm also going to show you guys some uh, cars that I bought, some Matchbox, Hot Wheels, and other brands. I actually got some cars from the uh, dollar store, so I'm going to show those at the end of the video. So let's jump right into it. The first item that I want to show is this painting handle. This is going to be really useful for painting miniatures. A lot of people out there who paint miniatures know about this handle uh, some people might not so hopefully uh, by me showing you this in the video it might give you an idea of if you want it or not i bought a blue one they didn't have a purple one well it's almost purple kind of getting close to purple but this is going to be really useful to uh to paint your miniatures you have a turning base here and i think it comes with a bunch of bases which is pretty cool um, now whatever I bought on Amazon, I'm going to leave a link in the description. If you see anything you like, you could click on the link. But this one's really cool. It came with some uh, actual bases that you could use on miniatures. Probably not good for cars or anything like that. But if you watch my channel to get tips on even painting miniatures or making terrain and stuff, uh, this could be actually pretty useful. I'm going to actually use those bases in future videos. Um, and it comes with uh, these uh, sticky, what are these called again? Sticky putty, I guess, sticky putty. I usually buy the uh, the blue one, but uh, this came with actually quite a bit. And these are actually reusable, so what you're going to do is like stick them to the bottom of a car here. And then put it on this, or maybe if you stick it on one of these bases here. Just the base. So, no. So the base is just extra, it's not actually a tool for you to push in here or try to force it in like I'm doing. It's not going to work. Maybe this way? Nope. See? It's fun to watch a noob struggle with new tools, isn't it? Let's see, maybe there's different sizes here. What's this? Why is there... What is that? Uh... Okay, so they give you an extra thing i guess in case you lose it this is this looks like a volume but button to change the volume on something why would they give me that does anybody know write in the comments if you know why they sent me a volume button but uh yeah no directly put it on this and what you want to do when you're painting uh i don't have a i don't have a paintbrush next to me i have one of these so pretend this is a paint paintbrush um just gotta oh coffee time my wife brings me coffee when I'm doing these videos. Such a nice girl. So sometimes, uh, yeah, you, you turn your thing here and uh, sometimes you got to be really steady on what you're painting. So this handle is really useful. You have this arm that sticks out here to put your pinky on or whatever. If you want to get even more stable, um, put your forearms on the table, which is a good trick to keep your hands steady. And just uh, paint whatever you need to paint. It's really useful. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be using this a lot and it's actually pretty good for uh, making videos also. Turning the car and getting the right angles or getting the car to always face the camera so that viewers can see what you're doing. Um, speaking of, if you like these cars, they're actually motorized. If you pull them back. So if you want to find some cheap motorized cars to do some drag races with your uh, Gaslands cars, I bought these on AliExpress. And I think it was like six bucks for six cars or something like that. Or like a dollar each for motorized cars. So that's pretty good actually. If you take off the body and then put the body maybe of, a, of another car on this. You'll have a motorized gas lens. It's got the flat back here to put some guns or rocket launchers or anything like that. And they're motorized. So you can have fun with that if you want. So... That was on AliExpress. I'll see if I can find the links again and put them in the description. Next up, we have these Gundam decals. So if you go to a local Gundam store or 
Gunpla store, Gunpla, Gunpla, I don't know what it's called, but um, I found these and I think they're pretty cool because they have all these like really interesting logos, not the numbers, the numbers are for like when you're building models, but they have all these little cool logos and you know, uh, stuff that you can stick on your cars, so if you want to see me fail miserably at putting these straight on a car, please uh, subscribe. I got some Evangelion stickers as well, maybe make a Nerve team, that could be interesting. Make sure to hit the notification bell, so that you know when I actually make those cars, you'll see the video. And now I bought this thing on AliExpress. Don't put stuff like that because you'll poke someone's eye out with them like this. But actually, uh, instead of that, don't buy this thing. Um, I bought it so that you don't have to. It is one of the worst purchases I've done on AliExpress. And it's uh, I thought it was going to be useful, you know, to put my tools and my paints and stuff like that. But um, for the tools, it's too low. So you can't really put like anything there you can't put markers you can't put paintbrushes you can't put anything because it's too low so they just like fall sideways and it doesn't keep anything straight uh, you know maybe this but even that it's it's not very useful um, on the picture it looked really cool i was like oh this is cool you know they had it with paints inside and brushes and everything was standing up super straight but that's not the case this is the smallest paint i have and it doesn't even fit in the holes so yeah, uh, do not buy any of these wooden things on AliExpress. They they don't fit. I mean, I mean you could put a few things in here, but it's not worth the price. Um, it's really small. It's not even one foot by one foot. But the picture makes it look bigger. Don't buy those. Next up, we got uh, these uh, cake decorating things, but I think I'm gonna use them as airbrush stencils they're made for decorating cake i believe but you know you put it on top of a car even if you don't have a brush maybe a spray can and you just spray and it's going to give you like a nice i don't know nice uh, pattern on your car or something or if you want to do something on on terrain you know maybe a road a rock road or something um but it's pretty cool uh, some of them are you know not gonna be useful this was like a, a pack of 25 so they all come together you don't buy them individually but some might be useful you know like uh, hold on maybe you want to do a zebra pattern on your car or you want to drive on a swiss cheese road like you do in montreal or uh, you, know, you got these really weird patterns that might be useful on a car might not would um, actually i think i have some that look like uh, camouflage which is pretty interesting maybe you want to do some water effects or ice this could be cool if you want to make like ice terrain or uh, this tie-dye thing but you get a bunch oh this is cool this is interesting maybe you could do uh, some mud or rust on terrain this is uh yeah some camo uh this could be good for like metal maybe if you want to do like a metal flooring or something like that i don't know but you know I bought them and uh, we'll see if we could use them in a future video. Spray some spray some stuff with the new airbrush that I got and see uh, see what comes up. Next up we have these chains that I bought at Michaels in Canada. I don't know if you guys have Michaels in the States or in Europe or wherever you're watching from but it's basically a uh, hobby, not a hobby store, well, what would you call it? Like. I don't know, they sell decoration, they sell jewelry, they sell uh, yarn and stuff like that. And they have a liquidation section and they had some chains. So I figured these are pretty cool if you want to like decorate some terrain or if you're doing a big rig, you know, get some chains there. Or if you want to uh, attach it to a spear, if you have a spear launcher or a... You know, there's all all these cool things you could do with chains when you're modeling your car. So, uh, if you see these on special, you should get some. And uh, it's going to add a few details. At the same store, I bought this. I didn't know this thing was a thing. I used to spend a lot of money on little tiny containers from like Army Painter or 
all those other modeling hobby uh, things to decorate the base of your miniatures uh, but this was really cheap and it does the same thing if not even better and let me see if I have the name here yeah so it's called the company's Ashlands like Gaslands but Ashland so that's easy to remember and it's called decorative filler so if you want to look for decorative filler from Ashland you're gonna get a huge uh, jar of terrain or decorative filler whatever that means but I'm gonna use it for terrain and I'm gonna just open it to show you exactly what it looks like and I bought this one because I think it could be useful if you want to do like some uh, holes in asphalt you know sometimes like asphalt explodes and then it leaves a bunch of asphalt bits everywhere and this one looks perfect for asphalt um, or even at the foot of uh, a mountain or maybe you want to do some kind of volcano terrain but yeah it's really interesting and not expensive and it actually shines a little bit there's some like asphalt dust shine if you look at it in uh, hot weather like in a desert or something like like you would in gaslands it shines a little bit so uh, i really I really think this is something you should look into it's called ashland decorative filler and it's amazing and not expensive I'm just gonna have some coffee before we continue i'm gonna show you the other one i bought i'm gonna open this one this one's more sandy powdery thing but same company and everything man i don't remember how much i paid these i think it was like seven dollars canadian and you might think that's expensive but have you ever bought terrain for your miniatures like little terrain decorative stuff for your miniatures a little a little plastic container is like 15 bucks and i think i got like four times the amount in these jars for half the price uh, and uh, it's really cool this is not like you know i mean if you want you could go get sand off a beach but not everybody lives next to a beach so uh, i mean you could buy this and it's uh it's not sandy it's more rocky and i think it's uh it looks cool under a miniature under a car put a bit of glue everywhere on your car and then just dunk it in you know dirty it up a bit and then get some rocks stuck in there as you would if you are driving fast in the wastelands of ashland and uh, you know get some stuff stuck inside your cars so i really wanted to show this one i think it's a good buy and they make a ton of different ones so go check it out next up we got these anti-static tweezers which are going to come in very handy and useful uh, which i think i got also on aliexpress they're they're not bad they, they come with like six different ones for three bucks or something like that like really cheap and they're anti-static which is cool and they have like a wide uh, grip instead of these small tweezers sometimes you need to grab bigger bits or uh, you know they're curved so if you need to glue something somewhere inside somewhere hard to reach for example if you want to for some reason put this little white pebble stuck onto your timing belt inside your car then you can with these tweezers if that's something you want to do um let me put these back here with the actually you know what maybe these might fit in that stupid wooden thing i bought i mean i guess i could use that wooden thing to put to put these in there they might fit but again they're too tall and they're probably just gonna fall over in that in that thing i'll take a picture once i fill it up and put it on instagram and next up we have this i don't know what i was thinking when i bought this but i did and it's a silicone making thing so you could make silicone uh trays i guess 
or silicone i don't know but make sure to stay tuned and watch me fail epically at making a silicone uh, tray because what i'm planning on doing with this which goes against everything in my moral compass and actually goes against everything in my business model is to copy things that i already have like 3d guns or something like that, that that i printed and i just want more copies of it so i think i could do it uh, with that silicone tray making kit i bought this already made which is a chocolate mold i think it was or a cosplay mold something to make like cosplay stuff um, I, I forgot what it was for but if you could find anything like this silicone tray to make ice cubes or chocolate you could then go ahead and buy clay which is a uh, hard hardening clay i guess or modeling clay which gets it's kind of like play-doh i guess and it gets really hard if you leave it out for a long time so what you would do is uh you know basically put this clay in the mold wait till it gets hard take it out of the mold and you have a piece of something it could be a gun it could be a piece of terrain or now this is really hard and you're gonna have to like manually play with it for a while to loosen it up a little bit you know kind of like like when you're significant utter says i have a knot in my back can you please use your elbows and feet and hammers to destroy this knot that's in my back well you could use a heater a heat gun i guess to help make it easier to uh, mold but eventually it gets kind of easy to mold it becomes uh, softer and you could like play around with it and then use it to put it in the mold here again as if you're trying to like destroy someone's back during a massage and then like take it out and then wait till it dries uh and you could use it for something i don't know a mine a trap uh terrain anything you could actually even like model it to to your own liking maybe like move it around a bit maybe make these edges pointier i don't know just have fun with it and that's why i bought those two silicone bottles because i think i'm going to make my own silicone tray using guns and stuff that i already have to duplicate the miniatures or the guns or even maybe a car that i really like the shape of just all kinds of things we could do so uh, if you want to watch me fail hit the notification bell and you know you could just clean these up with a knife and i also bought this air dry clay from crayola which is clay that dries in air and uh, i bought it so that you don't have to in case you don't you don't know if it's good or if it's something useful um but uh, this thing was really hard to open it was kind of tricky you have to like lift up all these flaps and everything maybe i should make a separate youtube video on how to open crayola air dry clay so basically it's i think it's uncolored play-doh that's basically what it is it's play-doh without any food coloring in it and uh, apparently it dries up so you could do a mold of something like i'm doing here then wait three days for it to dry and become hard and then you could paint it spray it uh, use it do whatever you want with it so this is a good way to create or duplicate things by getting a silicone tray or silicone ice i mean this i should have waited to pull this out like it's too soft to pull it out it's gonna make like all these it's not gonna be good so i'm just gonna put it back in there wait three days and in a future video i'll let you know how they came out and i'm gonna paint them make them look cool and show you how easy it is to make terrain with with that then i bought these hoo-hoo markers and these are metallic colored markers let's see uh, what they look like i bought them because they have a nice big tip 
I know what you're thinking. I'm going to take out the blue one, the purple one here, and uh, just see what it looks like. See the tip? It's nice and thick. Uh, but I like these markers. They're, they're metallic and they write really well. They're smooth. They don't feel cheap. They don't feel like they're going to run out of ink anytime soon. And uh, the colors are really cool. There's a bunch of them. And I think they're really good for the price. I think these were on Amazon also. So I'll put a description. They're good if you want to do graffiti, for example, on some terrain wall or something like that. Um, but I, I love that they're metallic because they, they give a little shine in the light. So you could even use these on cars themselves and still keep the metallic look to it on your car. So yeah, they're, they're really good markers. So remember when I talked about these chains? Well, if you could become friends with a jeweler, or if you could go to like a jewelry store around your neighborhood um, and ask them for their garbage or to put aside stuff that they're not going to use ever, that they removed from jewelry, from custom jobs or whatever, then you know you go there once a month and you ask for your little baggie of garbage and you know you could even pay like five bucks for it they'll be happy but my friend just gives me this stuff and uh look at that there's a huge chain in here so some it's like rubbaging through oh look at these these are sick so if you could find like a jeweler that doesn't care about these broken watch things you could use them to make like steampunk cars or something I actually did use it in, in one of my build videos for the rigs. So go check out the war rigs I did. Oh, please tell me that this watch has. Oh, look at this. Look at this. I'm showing my friend now across from me, but this is so cool. We're going to have to use this probably not in on a car, <laughs> but, you know, a piece of terrain, maybe a clock tower or something. Oh, that's going to be really cool. Yeah, we're probably going to have to build a clock tower terrain in our upcoming videos with this thing so stay tuned for that 2023 is going to be a fun year for content on this channel make sure to subscribe but look at this chain it's huge i'm gonna you know be able to use that on the clock tower as well it's gonna be a cool piece of terrain i think with all the uh, junk that was received so now we're going to get into the car portion part of the video, show you some cars I got. Uh, hopefully uh, those items that I showed you give you some ideas of things that you might want to buy will be useful. And uh, if, if you f saw anything that was useful to you and can't wait to watch me work on it, hit the like button. It really helps out the channel. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit. This car is really cool because it's got the rivets. I think I just bought it because of the rivets. Um, I think the rivets do a huge boost to look on a Gaslands car. It's just, I don't I don't know about the scale of this thing. It should have been bigger. Next to a Hot Wheel, it's going to look tiny. Uh, it's a Matchbox, so it's different. But the scale, it sh they should work on keeping scale to scale. Uh, this matchbox is to scale and it's awesome. It's the Jeep Wrangler Super Lift. I'm just gonna open it up and it, it's one of my favorite trucks that I just recently bought. And let's take a look at it closer. It's got it's got some cool tools on the top here. Gas container. Uh, I forget what it's called. Those gas those gas container. I like the wide tires here. Really feels like a it protects the car defensively, you know. Like you could smash someone on the side and not get any damage, except on the tires. It's got really good details on the on the hood. It's got like the, the exhaust on the hood. It's a, just a really cool truck. Next up, we have this beauty, and it looks like it's got a Ram. This is the Aristorat, like. Aristocrat, I guess, and it's got the. This is from the Hot Wheel drag strip. If you're looking to find it, and it's got a, a cool RAM. Let's see it up close. And I love these type of low cars. Really, like, looks like they got squashed or something. 
they just look faster. Look at that ram. Pretty cool. I don't know if it's going to do any damage. It would just like force your car underneath another car, but it's got the engine sticking out there. You got a little bucket in the back here if you want to put like a, a guy there with a gun or something. That could be cool. Uh, it's purple, which is probably going to be perfect because I'm not going to be painting this car. I'm going to keep it Gaslands purple. And uh, the front looks like a skull. I don't know. The, the windshield's giving me a skull eyes feel to it for some reason. I don't know. It's got the little tackle meter and everything. It's a really cool car. A lot of details on it. Next up, we got the Lolux. I'm not sure what that stands for. Lolux? I don't know. Hot Wheels truck? The hot trucks? I don't know what a Lolux is. Like lowrider luxury? Is that what they're trying to say? I don't know. This has a pretty cool front bumper too. Almost like a ram as well. I like the back that it's like on an angle. So that you could put like a rocket launcher there. Or a gun just pointing upwards. A BFG. You know. It's got like kind of like a roll cage around the engine in the back. It looks like a gas lansy thing. Maybe not blue. You know, once you paint this thing brown and dirty, it's going to look really cool. Change the tires on it. Yeah, I can't wait to work on this one. Next up, we have obviously the classic Cougar 68 Muscle Mania Hot Wheel. I don't even know how many of these I have. I probably bought a few of these thinking that, you know, they're just classic Gaslands looking cars. You know, Mad Max Classic. It's there. It's going to have guns in the front. And it's just ready to go. Again, probably not these colors. I I, I kind of like the 60s look of the color. You know, I don't know. Maybe I'll keep this one and rest it. But try to keep those colors on it. It's not bad. Actually, that, that blue. Next up, we got the Corvette. The Gas Gazer. Gasser. I'm not sure. It's a heavy car. This is from the drag strip collection. Let's open it up and take a closer look. It's cool because it's it's a Corvette, but it's high. It's not lowered. Which is pretty different for a Corvette. And uh, you know, it's got the exhaust there coming out from the front the back of the front tires. That's gonna be pretty cool. And uh, even this one, man, with the engine in the front, I think colored is gonna be not not this color i think this 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 one needs to be like matte black right matte black completely clean just all black those tires gotta go they're way too skinny there's an engine coming out of it it's gonna be a nice build can't wait to do that one next up we have obviously this is one of the most popular ones the big air bel air used probably by everyone in Gaslands who plays because it's it just has everything right it's got the the classic look of an old car that you would find in a junkyard in the wastelands it has all these little bits coming out of the, the back trunk it's got a tire in the back uh, it, it, it's bulky so it's good for defense it has no windows so you could put like your own bulletproof stuff there it's just the easiest and best model i find for gas lines is the the bel air so when i see one i buy one and this is another car that when i see i buy the toyota supra the classic one it's uh one of my favorite cars it's a then and now and i don't know if i'm gonna open this one do i need to open it to show you you know what a super looks like it's cool it's got the lights in the front that are like stick on not all hot wheels have that they just don't have them in the back for some reason it would have been cool to have the back stickers also on the lights but uh yeah i don't know this is not a special car or anything it's not like a chase or whatever but i'm not gonna open it nope not opening the super if you want me to really open it put it in the comments and maybe i'll open it but we don't need to open it right 
And this is another really cool one. The last one I'm showing here. The Daredevils uh, collection. And I love this car. I love the back of this car. I'll show you why. But I, I love two things about this car that I really, really think are cool. Is the height of it. Oh, by the way, keep these uh, these things. Okay, you can make terrain with these. So do not throw these out. Keep all of them. I have a video. I made a video. I'll put the link in the at the end of this video, so you can go watch the video of how to use these and make terrain because they're really really useful to make terrain. So don't throw any of those out. Uh, but back to the car. I love the Castro here. Um, classic. I love. The fact that it's so low, like skinny, it's like, I don't know, it's like the height of a, of a nail. Like if you look at your nail right now, that's how high this car is. It's it's flattened. It's almost like a piece of paper. It's I just love low, flat cars like that. You know, look at the back. The back has like that, I don't know, uh, back to the future feel to it. It's got these mud flaps in the back, giving it that you know, rally racing style look to it. I just really like this this model. I don't know if it's a Gaslandsy type car, like where like where would you put the guns, but it's just a really cool car. And then I found this thing at the Dollarama. It's from Montoy, if you're actually looking for it. $1.75 for it, because I bought it at that price, because I was like, you know what? Let's take a look at it. Uh, it looks like it's a pretty detailed car so it's a bit more expensive than a hot wheel but i think these might actually be really good for gas lines because i gotta measure it uh this car they're a bit bigger than hot wheels so they're not super s to scale but they might still fit on in the rules of gas lines as a size. So I'm going to have to check that out and get back to you. But because they're a bit bigger, they're probably going to be easier to work on. And they might have a little bit more details on them. Um, like you know, They're light. They're really light, which feels a bit cheap. Uh, the, under, the underbelly of the car is not nice, but they are screws. So you don't have to drill these cars, which is great if you if you want your kids to get into gas lands or if you want your kids to model. Uh, I did do a video for kids to how to model cars. So if you want to show your kids that video and then get cars like this that have screws underneath. Uh, but some cars like some Hot Wheels have the underneath have, have pretty good details. Some don't um, because, you know, you, sometimes when you explode, while playing the game, you turn your car upside down and you want to show off that you also worked at the bottom of the car, but this is just super flat and ugly. Not the best underside of these cars. Let me try the other one. I bought a Lamborghini as well because I love Lamborghinis and I can't wait for them to join the F1. If they ever, what are you waiting for? Uh, but I heard Porsche is coming back to f1 so that's gonna be cool if anybody's an f1 fan out there drive to survive um but yeah these the, see the bottom is the same just flat and straight they put like three little tubes there but i mean it's a screw so it's easy to work with great for uh, kids to model with you if you're having a modeling night um but yeah so i'm gonna check those cars see if they're actually rule legit and if you're looking for dice or uh, maybe some gates guns engines anything 3d printed i have an etsy page that would really support the channel if you want to go on there and buy some containers that come with a bunch of guns inside them and turrets and stuff that you could glue onto your car uh, i have flamethrowers with fire effects I have tires, uh, I have a bunch of stuff, so go check out the Etsy and join us on the Facebook page. Also, if you still have time and you like my videos, go check out this video on how to use the Hot Wheels packaging to make terrain. 
Go make something cool and thanks for watching.